Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at the next step. So we've got the banner in here now and it's working fine. Some of you may have made a static image which is just by itself, it doesn't do anything fancy. And some of you may have challenged yourself to create an interactive one, which is always good practice just in case. Um, and by that, by interactive I mean when you click it or when you move your mouse over it, it changes somehow. Okay, so once you've done that, the next step, if I remind you here, using this acronym, that we've got the banner, we now need to move on the buttons. So the buttons are going to go here, and very simply, we're going to have two, as you remember, uh, from the designing process of uh, this exam paper. But before we go any further, it's important that we understand uh, that there are certain requirements, since this is what this whole section here is about, This, these things on the left-hand side, these are the requirements. So it says the home page button should have a background colour set to this here, and the events page button must have a background set to this here. So we're going to use fireworks. Now you should remember this, guys, especially if you're using the Adobe Creative Suite. We use Dreamweaver for the website, we use the Photoshop for any kind of editing of images, and we use fireworks, which is in here somewhere, for the buttons. Now fireworks is not the only way, but this is the way I'd like you to get used to uh, making these websites. So when fireworks comes up, we're going to create a canvas. So we create a new PNG document, and we need a canvas. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how much we want. Now, if you remember, the size of the website uh, should be the width this is 1366. So if you divide that by two, if you remember, if you can't get the calculator out, 1366 divided by two equals 683. So let's aim for 680 in terms of the width. Just keep it at six. No, let's actually let's be specific. Let's do 683. So 683 um, back in here, width pixels 683. And here we need the height. So we're going to go in here and you want to double check this. I'm going to zoom in here to 100% and just see what we're looking at here. So if you want to keep it simple, we could say 50. Okay. Keep it simple, make it 50. So we're going to put 50 here. And remember, we can change this if we have to. Now, we're going to keep this white for now. Keep it simple, white, there we go. And press OK. Now that should give you the dimension. And yes, it is long. And I guess, uh, and again, you might want to make it taller to make it a little bit nicer. Uh, sometimes in some of these exams they ask you to have text and icons. So let's check that they are actually uh, want just text for this. So let's have a look. So it's so a navigation bar, linked to the home page, so this just needs to be linked. Uh, they should have these colours and that's it. So there's no mention of any icons this time. But if you are paranoid like myself, you may just want to have a look through here and I can't see any icons here. It's just all images. There's a Twitter and Facebook icon. Uh, which is not to, nothing to do with this, uh, the navigation bar. We've got a program, logo, uh, banner, which is what we just created. So no, nothing here that indicates that the home page button or the other button, the events page button, needs anything next to it. So we can just have the words. Um, so we need the colours though. So I'm going to go back here. Let's get a shape first. And we can drag out a box all the way to the end. Okay, so that's a rect rectangle shape. Now the color is obviously uh, here, and we can just type it into here. But since I have it in, in front of me, so you would just type it in. I'm going to copy and paste. So that's that. Come back over here, and you would just type it in, paste, and enter. So that is the color they want the home button to be. Just so you are absolutely certain, home page button. So we'll put this down, now we need some text. Now even though they said they want that colour, they didn't say that you can't do anything to it. So I'm going to actually add a style to it. Can you see this filter here? If you click on this, you can add uh, certain styles to make it look more like a button. So uh, I'm not going to use that actually, so I'm going to delete that one. Let's try for a different one. So let's do in embezzle. There we go. So you can use that if you want to, but the problem with this obviously is that it makes it very, very thin. So what you might have to do is increase the size of the canvas to make it look like a button. Sorry, to make it look a bit more appealing to the eyes. Um, 
what I will do, I'm going to delete this. And it changes the size of the canvas. I'm going to make it a bit taller. Rather than 50, I'm going to say, um, let's go for 70. There we go. It's a little bit better. And do that again. So I'm going to drag this out. There we go. Then add the filter. Color is already uh, set to default, which is the last number that we put in. And if you're you know, paranoid, you can check it there. Uh, E84545. Yeah, that's fine. Double check. E84545. That's fine. And filter. I want to go to all this. In a bevel there. We've got perfect. I'm now going to put some text in. Now, for the text, you're just going to click on the T icon here and drag our text box. Now what might be better is to go right to the edge. The reason why I say this is because then you can center a line and the text will be bang in the middle. Okay, there we go. So you can see here it's centered. If I click on left, the text will start on left, but I want it to be in the middle. I want the text to be white and I want to just type in home page. Okay, very simple. And I wonder, yeah, we can make it bold if you want to, yeah, that's, that's fine, uh, and then you can click on the arrow, the black arrow here, click on this, and you can add a, uh, a filter to this as well, and if I can find shadow, there you go, let's try crop shadow, see that looks pretty good, doesn't it, yeah, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click away, um, and that I'm happy with. That's my home page button. So all I'm going to do is go to File, Save As, throw it into my buttons page. So this is from a previous website that I created. So I'm going to go into my folder. So you have to always make sure that you are in your area. So, no, not you. There. Okay. Assets and buttons, and this is home page, and I put one there because I'm make a, I'm going to make a version two. So home page one, save, done. Um, version two, I'm just going to click on the text, and I'm going to delete that and add a different effect this time so maybe i'm going to do an inner shadow so it goes in so i'm going to click away file save as and this time it remembers where i am i'm going to put two instead of one and press save okay and that's that done now for the second button it's events page there it is events page which means go in here Go inside, double click, double click again, highlight it. In fact, we can keep the page, just put that in there. And make sure, yeah, events page, there we go. And we can just press file, save as. Oh, wait, no, 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 I completely forgot. So it's a good job I remembered. The page, the, so the color is different. So that we want to copy this time, this for the background. So I'm going to copy that, go back over here, click on the background. Um, there it is, and I'm going to go inside here and paste and press enter. So this time, the events page must be this color. So always ask yourself, what, did they, what are they asking me? So that's that one there, that's fine. Now I can go back and file, save as. And this is version 2 because the shadow is different. So this is going to be events page. There we go. 2. And... To make it version one, which is going to change that. Ooh, black arrow. Click on the font. There it is. Click on this minus to get rid of it. Add the next one, and I had drop shadow. There we go. That's better. Click away. File. Save as. And this is version one. Save. And that is really it. If I want to double check that I've actually created them and saved them in the correct place, so just go back into my assets folder, find the buttons section, and you'll find all four there, version 1s and version 2s. 
So how do I put them in? Very simple. You go into the area that you want them to go to. Make sure you change the horizontal value and the vertical value to left and top. Insert image objects, roll over image, and you find your buttons. So I'm going to get the buttons in here. There they are. And I'm going to get home page one. Say no to that. Home page two. Say no to that. And I'm going to say home page button. Home page button in a red. No, let's say home page button in. No, actually, let's be even more. Let's say red home page button. There, that's clear, concise, straight to the point. So red home page button. Uh, and then press OK. And that should be precise. And we're going to put the next one in here. So insert, same thing, image objects, roll over image, get the events one, one, so no, get the next one, events two, there you go. That's OK, say no to that. And it's going to be events page button and we're going to say blue events page button and we press ok now I'm going to save this and I'm going to go on to preview just to make sure it looks fine and that it works and I press F11 to see it in full screen and you can see that the buttons work and the colors are perfect and you'll see that my banner is still exactly where it needs to be. Now you'll notice there is a bit of scrolling here. Uh, that's only because we have a line here. So what might be a good idea is to get rid of this. Uh, yes, I had them separated first just so that I have an idea where I'm going to put them. But now that they are there, what we can do is merge them and we'll get rid of this little line in between and get bring them closer together. So I'm going to cross this off and all you got to do is click inside now, if you're struggling, what, I, what is always a good idea is zoom out. There you go. Click in there. Maybe make it a little bit larger because we're going to drag them in anyway. There we go. So we click inside, click and hold, drag in, and you'll notice that there's a black um, border outlining both cells now. Right click anywhere and then merge. And then if you push them in, There we go. And the reason why we've got there is because the center line needs to be gone in as well. So I'm going to drag this in and drag that in. And that hopefully should be perfect in terms of its um, dimensions. Save and check. F11. There we go. Oh, uh, this has pushed it down purely because there's, I've squeezed it in too much. So. It's always a good idea to double check because if I hadn't checked this and I used this template, I would have had the same mistake in every single page. So it's important that we do uh, fix these and test them as we go along. So I'm going to go back, drag out a little bit, save, go back and just see how that looks. Refresh, there we go, F11, and that's that. Now we may have to make these a little bit smaller so i'll show you a very quick way of doing that very very simple no need to go back and change the buttons or anything like that you can do if you want to but i can just go in here it says 683 let's make it 681 uh, and 681 there we go and then push these in save and Check that again. Oh, still too large. Um, so let's make it smaller still. Go back in. Maybe 680. Save. Go back. Refresh the page. There we go. So F11. And there we go. Okay. So we may need to move some things around and it's best to do this now rather than later 
because this can't be scrolling to the side. It can scroll up and down, but it cannot scroll to the side. So I'm going to mess around with this a little bit more and show you the end result. Okay, so you can see now that I've got it onto one page. There's very little scrolling at all now. It fits in perfectly fine. And this uh, banner is just underneath as well. And it's pretty much perfect, bang in the middle as well. Um, what you might realize, obviously, there's a white little border here which I want to get rid of. So the easiest way to do that, and this is why it's so important that you do test this incrementally. So we click here, and we want to make sure this is on the right hand side this time. There we go. So it starts on that, hand, that side instead. Save, go back over here, refresh the page, and press F11, and you'll see it starts on that side. So that looks a bit nicer now, and that's perfect in terms of uh, what we can do with it. Um, on the next page, we, uh, sorry, the next video, we're going to be talking about the social media links that the exam talks about.